Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Jadawan, and welcome to my first look at Satisfactory. I bought this game on Epic Games. I bought it for about 30 bucks. It's not available on Steam, but if you're interested in the game, or possibly some other games that aren't available on Steam, you can check out Epic Games online. I'll put a link in the description to their website, just in case. It's another platform like Steam. Similar, but not the same. So let's get our gamer's edge on. Let's get started. We're going to take out the rock. Check out the rocky desert. We're going to name it first look. Oh, hold on. I thought I would just name it first look one because I was playing around. So let's get our gamer's edge on. Let's get started. Now this is a fully hand painted world. The graphics are amazing. Attention Pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit Pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. <laughs> Expand Guess he's got a problem? Outposts and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Warning, planet fall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Planet fall procedure initialized. Wow, look at the fire outside. suit is at 100%. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. Wow, look at the colors. It's amazing. Welcome to Planet Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akija. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers such as you in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive Planetfall. Congratulations. Note Objective based introduction initialized. Welcome to Onboarding. First objective, please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. Note, fix it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. Second objective, please ensure you have your fix it incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Note, According to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. Okay, just hit the tab button to bring this up. You double click on it to load it. And you can do F to switch in and out. Third objective. 
Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. See the scan? Note, the acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. Well, look for plants like this one. This one's got healing capabilities. This consumable there are creatures. healing properties. Further analysis required to establish object scanner identification. And you do want to pick up stuff because Initial you need scans this. reveal coloring properties in the flower petals. Further analysis required. You need wood and leaves to turn into biofuel because this has got survival characteristics. I, I only play survival games. But I'm playing this one because it has survival characteristic, and I'm interested in the automation and the factories and stuff. Do see again. Up there, huh? We can find a way up. I don't see a way up this way. There's one ore over here. Oh, a nice supply of these. Because we are going to get hurt. I gotta get up on this mountain, apparently. Ah, maybe. There's three right there. We have to fight this thing. Studying the remains of this creature might shed light on how to defend yourself in the future. Press the I E. Recommend analysis. Brings up your little hand pick. Fourth objective. Build the hub. Note, Normal. To complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Caution. Ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. Normal. And normal. They go up the pier and they have poor or low quality. Okay, let's take a look and see if, what it's going to take to get in and out of here. Can't 
can't get up that way easily. Maybe there. Okay, I can get up. That doesn't mean I will. Don't probably well, we don't want to go near those things. Oh, whatever they did hurt me. I don't want to go through that again. So what we can do is do those. They only give us about half. There's another plant I've noticed that gives you full, full block. Can't put them on a hot bar yet, but you can do. You have to do that. And then these things, I'm not sure what to do with yet, but collect them if you find them. This semi slug seems to emit weak potential energy from its crystalline shell. Ah. Further analysis of crystals requires setup an application. And it's pure, means we'll get maximum. Oh, uh, I, yep, I, ah. Uh. Okay. That hurt. And this is pure. So whether stuff respawns or not, I don't know. Just double click. I'd rather have a hot bar. So this is a pretty good flat area. Some more. Another one over this way, not too far away. I think we found a spot to build. Another two of something. We got around here to fight. Yeah, we found a good spot to build. So we're going to get these. Hell yeah. Nothing I see. And we got hurt again. So if the things don't respawn once I clear, as far as I understand, once I clear these areas, pure, 
here. Oh, nice air. We got we got to definitely do here. Because this is just a manual mining. We get to put automated miners on. But we need to find copper. We can't scan for copper yet. But I haven't seen any either. Stay away from those plant plants over there. We don't want to mess with those. We're just looking around. We are going to build here. We got a good way down. Okay, so to build, we want to go Q, build our hub. And that will work. And get out of Q. Congratulations, you have unlocked Hub okay. Feature Manual Craft Bench. Hub Feature Hub Terminal, Fifth Objective, Hub Upgrade Storage and Power. Note, the Craft Bench and Hub Terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. So we have to go here after that, and we want to look at active missions. Don't have any. So we want to go Hub Upgrade, select a milestone. It says we need 10 iron rods, okay? Well, we go over here, and we can do iron ingots. Now, this is manual crafting right now. You have to sit here and hold the button. We got a lot of iron, so we're just going to go ahead and process it all. So it has to be an iron, iron ingots before we can do anything with it, so you might as well process it. We're not going to be hurting for iron at all. Okay, we'll, we'll work. So we'll do a... It was 10 we wanted. Oh, bars. I built the wrong one. We want to build these. Okay. So we're doing our first upgrade. You drag these in and upgrade. Configure it. We want to go to upgrade 2. Select it. And see up here, now we got to find copper. You have unlocked hub feature biomass generator. Hub feature personal storage. Scanner feature copper. New equipment, buildings, and blueprints, which can be found in the workshop when built, build menu, and craft bench respectively. Oh, copper over here. Sixth objective, hub upgrade construction. Note, connect buildings to a generator for power. Note. Buildings such as the smelter require a blueprint to be set. Advice. Automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. There's iron. Where's the copper?
400 meters that way. 680. 604. Okay. 400 meters is the closest right here. Hopefully it's not going to be up on top of anything. Sulfur. We can take it. We will need it since we found it and it's it's not like a proper node. Not one that's on the ground that we can utilize. Nothing to fight around it. <coughs> and it's an impure, so it's not going to be a lot of copper. But it's better than none. Another one of those power slugs. Nice little plateau though. And this will be something again. Bo bauxite. Now you'll find nodes like this, but you can't mine these nodes. They just get you some of it. Our base is over there. Ah, oh, we have to fight six of those things down there. And we can get free resources down there, but we'd have to fight both batches of those. And we're not going to do that. Remember how I got up here. Nope, oh, getting stuck. There we go. So that we could get that copper mine going with an automatic. Oh, nice. More healing. And it is a beautiful world. What we got here? Limestone node, okay. Oh, I'm full. It's not the best copper, but it's copper. Okay, we do have a storage unit. Shift left. Shift left click to put it, get it out of your way. Ah. 
That's stuff we don't need on us right now. There we go. Okay, it says we need to... So we need to make all the copper plates we can. We need 50 copper wire. Looks like we can make enough. Okay, I made 54. We need 10 of these. I'd like to see a capability of uh, plugging in a number here. And we need 10 iron plates. So you can get exactly what you need. Congratulations. You have unlocked Scanner Stone. New buildings and blueprints, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Seventh objective Hub upgrade, conveyor belts. Note Use power poles to expand the power so network. We need um, six pipes. Note Constructors are capable of constructing copious parts, of which only one type at a time. Need to build this equipment workshop. We can build it pretty much right next to our base. So we go into here, we press E. And now we can do miners. So we need four cable, more wire, and more plates to build some auto miners. But let's take a look at our upgrade. So upgrade built up. Now we got a little house. And we have a furnace. We can put biomass in here and start getting power. Can I make biomass yet? We'll make a batch of biomass and put it in there. I don't know how much it'll hold. Apparently that's all it holds. Apparently we don't need it yet. Put that in there. Oh wow, we're at 30 minutes. Okay, let's see if I can get this done real quick. How many do we need? We can craft one.
and we just got to double click on it like that. And my mines are not far. Right here. Let me just put E. Just left kick it. And now it'll start mining. A portable miner will do the mining for us. And it's going to do. When it fills up to 100, it stops. I can pick it up and put it elsewhere. Can't mess with that. So we can go ahead and make another one and get it on the copper deposit that we found. So let's go ahead and check this out. But you see up top right hand corner we need 75, 10, and 10 of something else. Which, what is that 10? What is that? Oh, concrete. We need to find stone. Limestone. We can do. I got lime. I got some limestone. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. This is my first look, and I did play it, so hopefully it was a good first look. We got quite a ways. Definitely some amazing graphics here. Oh, you can press P and go into photo mode. You can zoom in and out some. Now, I have to figure out where they go. And you click left click your mouse button. And apparently those instructions won't appear in my in the picture. So thanks for watching. If you had to be new to my YouTube channel, please punch that subscribe button to help my channel grow. I'd appreciate it. You follow that website address at the top of the screen. You can find out my streaming schedule and when I plan to stream future games. You're quite welcome to watch my streams. I stream to YouTube, Mixer, and Twitch all at the same time. You have a great day and goodbye.